kick. Well, that makes sense. Are there bugs on the ground? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, and he's dead, so... We don't have to worry about killing him. Here's a logbook that I am going to read. Finally. Give the people a little bit of time to read it themselves. Mm -hmm. Apparently we're Dan's older sister. Ah. I was under the impression that we were younger. But okay. Okay. Here we go. First thing, it's a picture. It's got everybody's thing in them. There's something special you can get if you unlock all the posters. And you beat the game. Not I've even already what you'll be doing today. I've un already unlocked this. Top left is EG. Bottom, bottom left is Mia. Middle is Dad. Right is Dan. Yeah. Well, as you can see, there's a security up there, camera, doing pretty much nothing, spinning around. Those things have no purpose except to be there. Okay, so let's move. Oh, I love this gun. What was the purpose? Hey, don't waste shots. Uh, no, you have unlimited ammo for the shotgun. Still. Waste of time. Now you stay the same speed while shooting. That's kind of convenient. Most games do not have that feature. Or, in this case, not a feature that slows you down. Yeah. See, this is health. Very useful. I will be maxing that out. Attack, probably will be maxing that out too. Try to max out Assimilate, might not do that. Definitely maxing out Strength. Tazen and Kamado, definitely. I'll explain more of what they do later. Here's a lift, bring us down. If we got level 2 strength, which you sh always should do, you kick and take all the stuff. Um, I'm not sure if we've said this already, but my favorite part of this game is that there's a stat totally dedicated to kicking people in the face. Ah, uh, yes. And which stat would that be? Strength. Ah. Uh. That's why I maxed it out first, usually. Also, I don't think I can hit these ceiling lamps in any way, shape, or form in this level, so I'm going to leave them alone. But that's something we will normally be doing. Oh yay, finally, enemies. Don't get your face shot in like last time. If I had a higher strength, I'd just kick him. There we go. There we go. If you didn't hear that, she just apologized. For your first couple of kills, she's kind of innocent, doesn't want to kill people. But She'll then, get into it. around 200 kills, she starts... 200? Yeah. We will be getting possibly more than 200 kills. Also, die. I... Oh, I have another point to put in strength. That's good. I might be able to kick people now. That would be very convenient. This just leads down to where we just were, so I'm no, not going down. I'm not going to go down. Yeah. yeah. I'll just do the first level in this episode. Shouldn't take too long. I've done it before. Been there, done that. Oh, yeah. yay, another guy to shoot. I don't think I can kick him yet. Uh, I'll try. Give it a shot. Oh, yeah, you can. Ooh, yes. Ah, kick. isn't that fun? Kicking is awesome. I can't kick that guy up there yet, but I will shortly be able to do that. Also, here, logbook. Yoink. Let's give the people a turn to read it. Give them some time on this one. Mm -hmm. Not everybody reads as fast as we do. And some people don't want to take the time to pause it. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's the entire logbook. Basically, it's just a taze and talking. I'll be able to kick him when I upgrade my points one more. I'll go back and do that. But for right now, I'll just shoot him. This guy's got a rocket launcher, so I really don't want to mess with him at this point. Well, I mean, I do, but Looks I don't- Looks more like a machine gun to me. They've also got a rocket launcher in their machine gun. Oh. Just like ours. This little gun will convert to everything from a machine gun to something called an MPF Devastator, but I'll leave that up to you. I kind of like the music for this game. Yeah, the music is epic. And if you can't hear it, I'm sorry for the audio. But, really, it's if you haven't played this game, go play it already. It's more fun to play it before. 
before having us show you it. Actually, now that I think about it, it's actually probably more fun to have us show you it than play it, because if you play it, then what's really the point of watching us? But if you're already watching it, please feel free to watch the entire video. Kick. As you can see, the kicking is kind of inconvenient, but still rocks. Really utilizing that kick, dunk, kick, dunk, jump, shoot technique. Also, kick. This guy flips up and I kick him again. Oh, such skill. Not really. There are other Let's Plays of this um, particular game. If you are interested after watching this video, then maybe you should give them a look. Deceased Crab pretty much shows off all the secrets, which I do not know about, so I will not be showing them off. But go see his, too. He's got the... He is the person who inspired me to do this Let's Play. Okay, first thing we need to do. There's a secret I will be showing off, and it's right here. Get this person to know we're here by jumping in front of him. Get him to come towards us, duck a little bit. When he get close enough, jump over him, kick him off. Can't kick him a second time. Jump over here and squat. I need to get him to use his rocket launcher. Right there. Now I can kill him. So what's the secret of that? The secret is right through here. I cannot access it yet because I sadly have not beaten the game. Wall glitching. But if you go through here, A, there's a supercharge. Gives you an extra point. Always useful. Secondly, Sector Z. Give him a little time to read this one. I always will. Pretty long logbook. Yep. I might be making a single episode after this, but I cannot use it because you require all ten posters to do it, which means you must beat the game. To come back to the beginning and do something special that's awesome and cool. Yeah. Also, I suggest you unlock everything before you go there because there is a special item that I will be trying to show off if I ever manage to do it. Maybe a long time, but I highly suggest you try to get there. Also. Here's a little phenomena. This is one of Mia's ribbons. If you miss one of them, you will never be able to find the rest. If you find all of them, you get extra cutscenes, so. Oh, and don't we all hate cutscenes? Oh, but they're also, fun to find, just storage area. not really all that interesting. Storage area, yeah. Lock the door. Um Kick! There we go. Let's see, is there anything over here I could use to upgrade my skills? I'm gonna wanna point, put a couple in crack. So, but I'll just be able to respect myself when I do that. So I'm just gonna put those three points in health and let's go. And here comes the epic music. I just want to let you all know that Let's Plays are meant for a select audience and may not be interesting to everybody out there. Of course, if you're watching this, you've probably watched over the Let's Plays. This is probably not your first. Unless you're just somehow came upon us and you just want to give it a try. If you are, I do suggest them. They are quite interesting, especially when done by people more experienced than us. Yeah. If you've got Taze in level 3, you can use this. This is the machine gun. I'm not going to get it in this level because I just frankly don't want it enough. Oh yeah, here comes Kick the, the green door. lizard man who we shall kill. Do you ever look at these guys' feet? They're so weird. Gigantic. Their feet are bigger than also, their heads. Also, if at you're that. above them, you cannot kick them. Look at their feet. <laughs> also, They're if you're if you're above them, you are unable to kick them. That really makes me angry in this spot. Oh wow, he has a scary voice. Stop. Ugh, ridiculous. Also, I don't think I can break that ceiling lamp. Uh, I if I didn't break them all, I might do another clip of this where I show you what happens if you break them all. Because I'm planning on trying to show off as much as I can. Okay, these guys have the weirdest curvy feet ever. It's ridiculous. I know they have weird feet, but I never noticed that before. They're bigger than their heads, for gosh sakes. Also, I love the kick. Ah, right, here's two. Break. 
break. You would think that would give her a concussion or something. That thing, those things down there are the blitz. They will drain your armor and are really annoying. Let's get head break happy. So let's keep it up. Can we break that lamp? Yep. Yep, head break also, happy again. Here's a talk about a pause menu that you can reach by pressing escape. Little hint right there. Oh, here's what I was looking forward to. About those ceiling lamps. Yeah, no <laughs> notice the glass in her hair. You see the glass in her hair falling off her head. Like I said, they're head break happy. That's what we're going to call her from now on. Ms. Headbreak. And I guess that'll be it for Sector 1. I think she's pretty. Gonna save this, uh, not over my other games. Gotta remember that's the third slot. 